Hi. Now in this video what I want to do is show you how we can convert terms like this into AX to the power N type terms. We're going to need that later on when it comes to doing differentiation and integration. And to write these terms then into that form AX to the power N, we're going to need to rely on one or more of these rules that you see here, which by now should be familiar if you've been watching the other videos in my series. So we start off with 1 over x to the power 4. And this particular term matches up with this kind here, 1 over x to the power n. 1 over x to the power n is the same as x to the power minus n. So n is 4, so we can write this as being the same as x to the power minus 4. Now in my next example, what I've introduced here is a number on the top. So when we're looking at this kind of term, what we do is we think of this as 2 multiplied by 1 over x to the power 5. Okay. Now 1 over x to the power 5, again we can pick up on this idea that we were just looking at. And so 1 over x to the power 5 is the same as x to the power minus 5. So what we've got here is 2 multiplied by x to the power minus 5. 2x to the minus 5 then. The next example is to demonstrate what happens when we put a number in the denominator here. When you get something like this, in this example, we see it as 3 fifths multiplied by 1 over x to the power 4. We've already seen that 1 over x to the power 4 is the same as x to the power minus 4. So this becomes 3 over 5, 3 fifths multiplied by x to the power minus 4. And you could leave it like that, nothing wrong with that. Or you might see this written as 3x to the power minus 4 all over 5. So either way, both are correct. Now when it comes to dealing with square roots, we're going to be using this particular rule here. We've got 5 times the square root of x. So this is going to be 5 multiplied by, well, when we're dealing with just simply a square root, then n here is 2. Not that we write it in, but that would mean this would be x to the power 1 over 2, x to the power half. So this is going to be 5x to the power a half. Now in the next example, what I'm doing is, again, using this idea, but coupling it with the fraction here. So Looking at this one, we see this as 4 fifths now. 4 fifths multiplied by the cube root of x. Let's just write that cube root of x in there. So we've got 4 fifths then, and the cube root of x, by this idea here, the n would be 3. So we've got x to the power 1 over 3, x to the power third. 4 fifths then multiplied by x to the power third. And again, you could leave it in this kind of form, or changing it to this style, we can change this to 4x to the power of third, all divided then by 5. Same thing. Now in my next example, 3 divided by the square root of x, we now combine two rules. We combine this rule with this rule here. So 3 divided by 1 over root x can be thought of as 3 multiplied by 1 over the square root of x. Okay. Now, we've already seen that the square root of x, using this rule, can be represented as x to the power a half. So what we've got here is 3 multiplied by 1 over x to the power half. Now we can use 
this rule here. We've got 1 over x to the power half. 1 over x to the power n, n being a half, is the same as x to the power minus n, x to the power minus a half. So what we've got here is 3 multiplied by x to the power minus a half. All right. Next example, 3 all divided by 5 multiplied by the fourth root of x. So we see this as 3 fifths, 3 fifths multiplied by 1 over the fourth root of x. Now the fourth root of x, we use this rule here, n is 4. So we end up with x to the power 1 over 4, x to the power quarter in the denominator here. So we've got 3 fifths multiplied by 1 over x to the power a quarter. And then using this rule, 1 over x to the power a quarter, where n is a quarter, would be x to the power minus a quarter. So you end up with 3 fifths times x to the power minus a quarter. Or you could write that as 3x to the minus a quarter all over 5. Okay. And lastly, with this one, what I've done is you'll notice that inside the square root we've got a power here on the x. We've got 2 divided by 5 multiplied by the fourth root of x cubed. So we see this as 2 fifths multiplied by 1 divided by. Now the fourth root of x cubed we pick up on this result here. This result here where n is 4, the fourth root, and m is the 3, x cubed. And we can see that this can be written as x to the power m over n. In other words, for our, our example here, it will be x to the power 3 quarters. So we've got 1 over x to the power 3 quarters. And then all I need to do is to pick up on this rule again. n is the 3 quarters, so it's going to be x to the power minus 3 quarters for 1 over x to the power 3 quarters. So what we've got here is 2 fifths multiplied by x to the power minus 3 quarters. And we could rewrite that as 2x to the power minus 3 quarters all over 5. OK, well I hope that's given you an idea of how we can go about converting terms like this into the form ax to the power n. And as I said earlier, this is going to be useful when it comes to doing differentiation or integration of terms like this. OK?